Hey YouTube fam! Hey YouTube fam! Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful! This wig has held me down. Oh my goodness, this texture is gorgeous. This is serving scalp. Oh, I can't even talk because, oh bitch, do you see me? <laughs> I'm amazed by how this feels. And I love that this is like a human hair dupe for such an affordable price. I'm bored right now. This is looking like human hair and this is synthetic! What? Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, so happy to have you here. Tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos coming up. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. So today's a very special video. I've been wanting to get this video out for a long time. I will be discussing my top 10 synthetic wigs of all time. Yes, I'm being dramatic, literally of all time. I've been wearing synthetic wigs since 2015. Pretty sure my five year anniversary of wearing them is coming up in August, September. So today is the perfect time to dive into some of my favorites and why they are my favorites. All the wigs on this list are wigs that I loved pretty much automatically upon reviewing them and some of them I bought repeatedly. I normally don't buy the same synthetic wig over and over again. So if that happens, if I do that, it means I really, really love the wig. These wigs aren't in a strict particular order, but do know that the wigs that are closer to the end of the video are the wigs that I absolutely love a lot, probably the most, <laughs> and have bought them time and time again. Oh my God, this lighting. What makes these wigs my favorite? Three reasons. They're easy, they're affordable, and they just make your girl feel good. <laughs> So if you're ready to see my top 10 synthetic wigs of all time, keep on watching. All right, so my first wig on this list is Bobby Boss Yanni. Damn, me Yanni. Oh, I love that girl so much. Let me tell you what I love about Yanni. She was the first time I ventured into platinum blonde in a way that I felt safe because she comes with those darker roots. It just made the blonde experience easier for me because at that point I was always wearing blondes like this and I was totally fine with that. But Yanni was like a different experience and she made me feel like a total baddie. Plus the texture was on point, super easy to put on. She was it. And I still have her to this day and if I want to spruce her up, I can just use my blow dryer, probably some fabric softener, and she'd be good to go. I just feel like wigs like that, wigs like Yanni, that push you out of your comfort zone, you never forget them. So she had to go on the top 10. She had to. Next on the top 10 list of synthetic wigs of all time is Zuri Sis Para? Para? I think Para. Thank you. you I wore that little $20 wig out you hear me I wore this on vacation after vacation Oops. Para was like my favorite vacation wig to wear and she's a type of natural hair wig where the older she gets the more beautiful she is and she becomes even more of a plop and go Para is just so easy breezy and I would still buy her to this day I only bought her one time but I saw that she is still on websites for like $20 or less so I suggest you pick her up and just so you know all links to the wigs that I mentioned all the video reviews will be in the description box as well as their purchase links so feel free to go shop away overall para is just a super affordable bomb natural hair unit if you like big hair that is also lightweight para is your girl next on my top 10 synthetic wigs list is Harlem 125's wig THL04 Absolutely gorgeous. Very flattering style. I honestly loved everything about it. I love the construction. Love that it comes with brown lace. The parting space was great. And especially for that time, sensational wet lace, you know, was definitely at its all time high. And then Harlem 125 just kind of snuck in with this little series. I decided to pick it up because I saw that Dig in Her Style had posted her review on her. And when I watched, I was like, oh, bet your girl needs that. <laughs> And then I also saw I All Day review her in the burgundy color. So after seeing those reviews, I knew I had to have her and I just could not stop rocking her. Definitely remember me wearing her at my girlfriend's birthday brunch and I felt like a star, even though it wasn't even my birthday. And it's not even my birthday. 
love that wig so much. And especially as a dark skinned woman, at the time when Sensational was wet lace, their lace was very ashy, and this was before I had lace tint. So having that wig as an alternative meant a lot to me. Had to put her on the list. Next on the list is Outre Volume Press. <laughs> I've been a synthetic wig wearer. The one thing I love about Volume Press is, yes, it's super easy to put on. The parting space looks natural, even though it's just like your average lace front. But my main thing about it was the density. I just feel like it's a super light, natural looking density. My natural hair straightened out is not super voluminous. It's more on the lighter density side, like probably like a 140, 130%. So that's why I like about Outre Volume Press because I feel like it mimics the way my hair would look if it was that long. And I love the layering of that unit. It's just such a classic style. I feel like if you like straight, sleek hair, that is the wig to get. And the texture is perfect. Perfect, yakky texture on a synthetic wig. It's not super silky, but if you're not into like the super yakky, almost kinky straight, it's not that either. It's like right in between. I'll trade totally got it right with that unit. Next on my wig list is Model Model Ebony. <laughs> for $20 Tuesday and that wig will forever be special to me for that reason alone but also I bought that wig at the time for $13 $13 on GlamourTrust.com and y'all saw that video and sold it the fuck out honestly y'all did I went back several times and I was like oh the natural colors are gone oh even the colors are gone all we got left is platinum <laughs> And what I love about Model Model Ebony is just the shortcut and how easy it is for every day. And literally just with a few little tweaks in the parting space area, it looks like perfection. Oh my gosh. It just looks so good. Literally felt so badass wearing that wig. I was 29 at the time, but I definitely felt like this is my grown ass woman, 30 year old, don't tell me nothing wig. That's how Model Model Ebony made me feel. And that's why she's on the list. Next on the list is Bobby Boss Kylie. Luck would have it, I'm wearing Bobby Boss Kylie right now. I have her in the um 30 color, the 30 color blend. Remember, it'll be linked in the description box down below. But what I absolutely love about Kylie is that she is the quintessential synthetic barrel curl wig. I just love her so much because She's so easy, the texture is great, and I love the style. Really, the style of Kylie is what took me out from day one, and that's why I had to purchase her two more times after that, because she looks so good. And on top of that, it's not just me. Bobby Boss Kylie is one of those wigs that will look good on anybody, any head shape, any head size, it doesn't matter your facial shape, like I feel like Bobby Boss Kylie looks good on anyone. I have yet to be proven otherwise, honestly. And I know a lot of my wig bays have Bobby Boss Kylie as their favorite too. So comment down below if you agree with me, because honey, she's still a look, look at her. Now she is a little bit tattered, because remember, she is synthetic, okay? Like I got some tangling right here. But literally, if I just washed her with some fabric softener and then let her air dry, she'd be good as new. Synthetic wigs are easy to come back to life, especially when they're not too tattered. At a certain point, you do have to understand like when they get a little bit too ratty, just get a new one, sis. <laughs> Downy fabric softener is not gonna save that wig. Nah. All right, next on my list is a Bobby Ball wig again, the M O W L 26. relationship with you, this is what you do. Think about all the things that come along with you, make me, you make me. <laughs> synthetic human hair blends and this was the first human hair blend wig that I actually 
adore. Seriously, the blend on that wig for synthetic wig, it feels so much like human hair. I just couldn't believe it. And at the time, with Sensational and their wigs that were at the same price point, I was a little confused because I'm like, Body Boss came out with this wig and this feels great, but Sensational fibers feel like trash, what's going on here? I'm talking about wet lace. And I've talked about this in videos before. Since then, Sensational has been trying to get it together, which I'm, I can definitely appreciate. But at the time, I was a little irritated. When I realized that time and time again that Sensational's wet lace fibers were not hitting it for me, when Body Boss came out with this organique line, it was the answer to my prayers. The brown lace was a plus, and the texture feels like human hair. I can't even describe it, but you're just gonna have to go watch the video, see it for yourself, or just go buy the wig, sis. Look, everything on this list is definitely approved by me, so you already know it's gonna be a quality wig. But yeah, I had to, I had to fit that one in there because that wig is a quality, straight, synthetic wig that I feel like is going to last you for a while. I've worn that wig a good eight Eight to ten times and she's still going strong and I've worn her like on vacation just out with friends whipping her around still going strong all right child so these last three wigs these wigs <laughs> I bought these wigs at least four times so that should tell you how much I was obsessed and still obsessed about these wigs so these definitely Definitely my top three of all time. Okay, so the next wig I'm about to mention is Free Trust Equal Brisa. Y'all, this wig. Do y'all see this? Look at these wings. Look at this part. Y'all don't know how much I love. Now, Brisa was actually one of my, like, probably like my third wig review ever. And I remember being so excited about reviewing Brisa because I knew that she was bomb, like, as soon as I took her out the pack. And I was like, can't wait to share this with my subscribers! Let me tell you what I love about Brisa because I, I got that girl in four colors, okay? I love Brisa because of the construction, period. Brisa was only the second bang wig that I owned, but she is the first bang wig that I ever saw in my life with a lace part closure. Most bang wigs come with a closure that is like closed together it's the way the hair is it's sewn together it has like a little knot in the middle but there's no lace whatsoever but Brisa was the first one I saw with a lace closure which means it can look like scalp you just add your powder and you're good to go man seeing that alone was a game changer for me that's probably why I got her in four colors on top of the fact that I love the style of Brisa the bangs on that unit are my perfect bang I like bangs that are a little bit lighter in density I don't like them too heavy and a little bit wispy almost and fall like around here i mean everything about that bang unit was perfect i love the texture as well it was a nice yakky texture not super thick though a yakky texture that was light in density and the older she got i felt like the thicker she got as far as the texture was concerned reviving her is always so easy i literally just use my revlon blow dryer brush and bring her back to life but of course you can wash your synthetic wig like Brisa or any other wig in fabric softener and that will help revive them. But yes, Brisa had me feeling like such a cutie bazooty. <laughs> I really, really, really love Brisa and that's why I kept buying her because she is just a classic bang style. If you like bangs or if you want to try bangs, I suggest you purchase that wig. I mean, for what, $25? You can't go wrong with that. You just can't go wrong. Now, French is equal, they ain't not on my good side right now because they, you know, They've been a little bit shady towards black beauty supply owners. So I'm not really rocking with Free Chest right now. But I do remember my very fond memories with Brisa. All right. So this is like number two on my list right here. And this wig is Altre Nisha from the Soft and Natural Collection, Nisha 203. If you are familiar with my channel, you know how much I love Nisha 203. So much so that I literally have this wig in like five, six colors now, I believe. I absolutely adore Nisha 203. And what I love about this wig is that 
That wig is the embodiment of what I want in a synthetic textured wig. At that time, when Altra approached me to be a part of this campaign, as soon as I saw the brochure, I knew it was about to be a hit because at that time, there were other textured wigs that had been out and Janet Collection had come out with their line already. But what made this different and special is that Altre had different styles and they had a broader color range with color mixes that we hadn't he heard of before. And as soon as I received the units and I saw how soft they were, I, I was sold. Nisha 203 quickly rose to be my favorite, not just because of the construction, but because of this overall style and the texture. It, it's just so pretty to me. And it's one of those units that I just could never get tired of. For me, I can always use a nice, yakky, almost kinky straight wig in my collection, especially a nice long straight one. And Nisha 203 delivers that to me every time. Every single time. Yes, I work with Altrey and they sent me those units, but I bought Nisha 203 on my own as well several times after that because I was just so obsessed with her. And every time she re-slapped, I was quick to tell my followers about them. So Nisha 203, I mean, the way she just slid in at the end inning, like she took me out. When I originally was gonna do this video, I was debating what I was gonna put on the list because I was like, I just got this wig, but I was wearing her so often, she was quickly becoming my go-to. It was like, nah, how could I not? So here we are in July going to August I still love Nisha 203 with the same intensity as I had from when I first met her she is bae if you haven't tried her please try her out if you feel like her texture is a little too thick for you please watch my videos on her because I give some good tips on how to make the Nisha wigs from the soft and natural series how to make it look natural and how to lessen the density all that I include in my videos so please check out my description box for that information and now it's time to share with you my top synthetic wig of all time. I know I said in the beginning that there wasn't much of an order with this list, but like I said, the ones towards the end are my favorite, and this one right here, that's my girl. She has been with me through thick and thin, okay? And the name of this wig is Vela Vela Bounce Bob. <laughs> because you know I love textured wigs. So of course, in the number one spot would be the Bounce Bob. This wig, y'all don't even know how much I wear this wig. I review so many units, but my everyday go-to teacher wig is this Bounce Bob unit. Literally wore this unit five days a week for six months straight. I kid you not, y'all. Five days a week. This is my typical work wig. My girlfriend likes to make fun of me. She's like, oh, that's your so-and-so wig she says the name of my job and i'm just like yeah i mean so i just love her so much why do i love her so much first of all because she's a natural textured wig and she is so affordable only 16 dollars, y'all you can't go wrong with that and once you style her to your face once you frame her to your face she is truly a throw on and go Truly, I wake up in the morning and it's just one less thing to think about. Now we're in the midst of COVID, so it's different. But when I was actively teaching in the classroom, just knowing that I was gonna throw on Bounce Bob just made my morning go so much smoother. So really the ease of the unit after styling her is what makes my number one and the texture. And I'm a sucker for the like natural, Pro look like I mean I love wigs that look like my hair all of this is well and good by Walsh Kylie I mean she made it on the list for a reason but when it looks like my hair it just holds a special place in my heart so that is why Bella Bella Bounce Bob is number one so I realize <laughs> After, while editing this like i did not include my favorite bob of 2018 bobby ball selena i was absolutely obsessed with that bob primarily due to the color amazing definitely check it out so these are my top 10 synthetic wigs of all time tell me what you think let's have a nice conversation in the comments Tell me some of your favorites. Do we have some matches here? Did you see some of your favorites on my list? Let me know. I really hope that you all enjoyed the way I formatted this video. Tell me your thoughts down in the comments. Let's talk to each other. Y'all know I love when y'all talk to me, so please drop me some comments down below. I've been wanting to get this video up for a while, so I'm so glad I did. Make sure you stay tuned tomorrow for $20 Tuesday because I will be showcasing my top five $20 wigs because this week is all about my favorites. So stay tuned for that video. And of course, if you're new here, what are you waiting for? Tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. 
so that you don't miss anything coming up. Stay a while, let's get to know each other. Introduce yourself in the comments. And if you wanna see my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Remember, all the links I mentioned are linked down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.